Good morning, friends. Welcome to GoOnlineTrainings.com. We have completed uh, data analytics part one and part two, and today is the final demo. And the part one generalized talk uh, only happened. In the yesterday's demo, we spoke about the technical things, and today also we'll completely focusing on technical things. So as I said here, any graduate, any year passed out, easy to learn, no coding is required. Non IT people who are you know earning less salary, they can easily get into IT industry, hard skill placement and job support, right? So definitely earning less salary is a crime because if you don't get much salary, then definitely you cannot support your family, right? Earning 20,000, 30,000 rupees, even though you have a 25 years of you know education, but only thing is that you don't have three months, six months proper skills. So even though many people do graduation, 25 years, 22 years, they do the post graduation and they will be working for 20,000 rupees, 30,000 rupees in India. So only thing they are missing one proper skill, right? We don't need certified people. We need skilled people. Everybody will have certifications. There is no use, right? So many people are going to say today, we don't need certified people, we need skilled people. So even though you're a graduate with that 22 years of 20 years of graduation, you can get only 20,000 rupees. But if you put three to six months of effort, you will be able to get a minimum one lakh rupees in India. So that is what is the thing. So, so you spent 20 years only with graduation and, uh, and after that you stop and you started working and it will be of no use, I'm telling you. You need to have this kind of a courses in your basket so that you will be able to easily get into you know, proper uh, skills. And because of that only, you, need, you will get more and more you know, earnings and more salaries, especially in the IT industry. So what is missing in you? Skills. It is not recession. It is not something else. Because before recession, why is that you are not earning good amount of money? It is not because of recession. Because recession comes and it goes. Within one year, two years, it goes. But after that, after that, uh, if you're still not able to earn the money means, if you're not able to get into proper income means, that is 100% your skills. So you, you are having lack of skills. So nobody can stop you and nobody can tell you, you know, saying that you cannot do this, you cannot do that. Right, because IT industry is a private organization, age is not a matter. Graduation with open university it does not matter, right? BA, BCom, MA, MCom, BSc, and uh, nothing matters. Only thing is that you need to have proper skills and remember that forever. And don't listen to anybody, talk to the right people, they will be able to guide you properly. I am in the IT industry for more than 20 25 years. And I know I shaped up many people and lots of my students are working for the IT industry. In India itself, they're earning more than 25 lakhs, 30 lakhs, 45 lakhs. And they're working for many good companies like LNT, Mindtree, you know, Cognizant, Capgemini, a lot of good companies where my students are available. I've trained thousands of students in Infosys Mysore campus in 2006 and 7. So, I love teaching because of that I am here today, right? So remember, uh, remember, guys, anything you learn, you learn, but you need to learn from the basic level to advanced level. I am going to be starting from very, very basic level and you, you will be able to get a minimum 80% of the interview questions are going to be asked from my syllabus. You need not go to any YouTube channel. You need not go to any separate interview preparation from some any other material. You put three years of experience or 10 years of experience, I'm going to be covering very, very in-depth of uh, coverage so that we can crack any kind of an interview doesn't matter, right? So that's what you need to understand. And today, let us talk about a lot of other things. Let me, uh, today is the final demo, guys. And people who are new, they need to fill this form. This form already have given in the chart window. And in this, you need to mention uh, email address and your full name and course details where you need to mention power ba location city mobile number so this form already been given in the chat window so if you're not able to fill at least you write me email you write me email saying that sir i could not fill the form and this is my data now you can send me email to bhaskar at gmail.com or go online dot bhaskar so when you're filling the form 
daily recorded videos are going to be given it to you plus uh, uh, fees discount will be given so today the final demo you will be able to get the you know fee payments and disc you know discounts will be given and tomorrow day after tomorrow we don't have any class and payments can be done in installments as well you can make the payments and uh, get the link for the monday's class monday this uh, meeting link is not going to work it will so you will be able to get the new link and uh, today you will be able to get the payment link if you don't get the payment link you can call this numbers or you can also mail me baskarjoge gmail.com saying that sir i did not receive the payment details or they would have sent you it would it would have gone to your spam folder make sure you check everything if you don't get it and write me a mail and make the payment by today or tomorrow and sunday we don't work and you would don't get the meeting id for the monday's class monday we're going to be you know installing the software in your you know laptop i have told you what is the laptop configuration you need to have if you watch yesterday's video you will be able to understand that and people who are new today if you wanted to get previous videos two classes got over so demo number one and demo number two videos i'll be able to send you only you need to do send me email sir i have not attended previous classes i need all the videos this is my mail id this is my phone number if you mail me the details after this class you will be able to get all the previous recorded videos and you can continue for you can watch tomorrow and day after tomorrow saturday and sunday we don't have any class remember that okay monday to friday we'll have and uh, today is the final demo that's what if you have any other questions after this class also you can ask me uh, yeah people who are you know joining for the first class no worries you will be able to get the previous recorded videos just mail me your, de your details and clearly mention that uh, you have attending the first time today Ashish is saying good morning Guru. I am Ashish age 34 was working till 2021 in small lead making company. Now I am jobless and will company hire me 100% uh, Ashish. You are the right candidate to get into IT industry. Put some three months of efforts. You can get very good opportunities in the IT industry. I will help you till you get the placement. Okay, so definitely. So you should not be worried about anything you have to prepare well for three to four months and easily you can get into IT industry. Only thing is that five to six rounds of interviews you need to fail. When you fail automatically the seventh or eighth round is US. Okay, you don't go to any proxy. Don't waste your money. Don't you know go for you know backdoor jobs. It will be useless. You will be thrown out of the companies. You simply practice my syllabus and you can easily crack the interview. Ashish, you are the right candidate to get into the IT industry. 34 age means very, uh, you're very younger. Okay, so you have to try and learn the skills. Only you're lacking with the skills. That is the reason why you're, uh, you know, having less salaries, right? So graduation will not give you good salaries. These skills will give you very good salaries, right? 20 years, 25 years graduation will be useless when you don't have these skills. Chalo, guys. Uh, okay, so now for today is the final demo, right? Yesterday, we spoke about a lot of other things and uh, what is that you need to practice? If you learn only Power BI, you don't get a job. That's what I told you. And uh, you need to learn compulsorily SQL Server. Without you know SQL Server, Power BI cannot work. Uh, you, you make sure that you need to practice these two and uh, from monday onwards right so power bi you need to attend live classes and a sql server it will be no live classes you need to buy the videos and one hour videos of 45 videos will be given you need to buy them march and april all the people all the people who wanted to get into power bi or data analytics they need to buy sql server videos and practice once in the evening and Power BI, you need to attend the live classes. If you get any doubt in the SQL Server, next day in the Power BI class, it will be live. You will be able to ask the question so that I will be able to tell you the answer. So first, uh, March and April, we are going to be concentrating on these two. Only Power BI, if you learn, that will be of no use. And if you learn SQL Server only 5 days, 10 days, it will be of no use. And if you say, Sir, I have my, my friend will teach me, I will learn from YouTube.com, 
and i have some recorded videos from you know some other faculty so those are completely basic videos you never never got the in depth of class without in depth of sql server syllabus you cannot get the job because 60% of the interview questions are going to be asked only in the sql server remaining 40% will be asked in this right so in the month of may you need to also learn ssis what is ssis and all of them we are going to be you know discussing today this will be of 25 days and you can also attend live classes or by videos and data warehousing five days class you need to know one hour classes this will be free for you ssas classes five days will be given each class will be of one hour it will be free so all these things you need to learn so march april may you will be able to complete a totally five courses so now you need to pay only for these two courses and this will be of live class and this will be of videos right and in the month of may you need to pay for this course and these two are free and after that i'll be giving you sample cvs cv preparation project explanation blah 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 and as i told you one project is also included for free okay included and this is also for free 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 only clear so this project you can keep in your cv and if you need extra project then we have uh, two more projects those are paid projects if you wanted to get into some more projects so all these projects you can keep in your cv so that you can tell them i worked for the real time right so those are paid projects but this will be free and all the cv preparation everything is free for you and only power bi when you learn and it will be of no use and if you learn sql server for 5 days 10 days that is also no use and three case studies are included in this and we have sql server telugu and english so you can buy which version whatever be the language you needed and practice it so now you need to concentrate on march and april completely this but if you learn one by one it will take it will it will become six months or eight months course you need to learn them parallelly because power bi is dead easy power bi is dead easy only bit complex means sql server anyhow you will be able to get in the videos you know you can practice them all the videos will be given for six months that is the validity period so within six months i think you should be able to complete it if not we can just make some very basic renewal amounts some 3 to 400 rupees and renewal amount will be there and you can continue for another you know co some more time right so that is what it will be all the recorded videos are posted into the uh, you know portals and you know user access will be given you just practice them and compulsorily you need to practice the notes right this is how our people are able to crack the interview last month almost 10 12 people you know got the offer letters one uh, you know housewife got three offer letters her name is lavanya 2012 passed out okay so anybody can get into it industry but only thing is that skills are missing right so now i told you yesterday that uh, companies will have lot of data if you have small amount of data you will be able to store the data in excel sheet when you have gbs of data you will be able to store them in sql and language this was yesterday's class and when you have terabytes of data data warehousing can be used along with the bi tools where you are going to be storing the data and processing the data and when you have unlimited data that is what is called big data now it industry is going to be storing all the unlimited data big data in the hadoop technology clear so i also spoke about spoke about what is the difference between a data analytics and data science data analytics means reporting the past data science means predicting the future what was the obesity rate in india last 10 years this was business analytics or data uh, you know data analytics so what was the obesity rate in india whether it is increasing or decreasing the government of india wanted to know so understanding the past is called as a data analytics so what would be the obesity rate in india because of that how many people may get heart attack how many people may get into diabetics how many people may get into cardiac arrest how many people may die so they wanted to predict something you know because you know if you wanted to predict something so you need to supply the data and data science can easily predict 
clear both of them needs a data but the data can be stored either in the sql or a data can be stored in the data warehousing tools data can be stored in the uh, hadoop or data can be also stored in the excel if with you know with the historical data remember this with historical data you can do the predictions or you can do the understanding the past so data analytics on data science what kind of data we need we need the historical data old data clear so that is what you need to understand now the question is okay we will give you the data but uh, what are the challenges with the data for example amazon will say hey baskar i will give you my data now you perform data analytics and send me tell me some story about my company whether we are doing good we are doing bad and you tell me some user story or business story about my data so amazon company wanted to hire bhaskar jogi because bhaskar jogi is a data analyst right i said sir give me a data i will tell you the proper story how the business is happening i can easily analyze your data and i can tell you the story right so amazon company will give me the data but the problem is that the data itself will have a lot of issues or lot of challenges okay what are the data challenges which i face as a data analyst right so i may be working for ibm company and i'm a data analyst amazon company is the client for ibm amazon company is the client for ibm so all the you know projects or you know ibm having lot of projects one of the projects uh, from the amazon.com so i have to chase i have to take the amazon data and i need to do the data analytics right so i have a team of people i'm just leading the team my name is bhaskar jogi i have let us say some 15 20 years of experience now when i go and talk to amazon.com and amazon will say hey bhaskar in nice to meet you but i know i wanted to tell you that i don't have all the data in single location that is the biggest issue that in uh, you know, amazon tell me bhaskar we have some data in us we have some data in india we have some data in uk we have some data in dubai we have some data in singapore because we are doing business all over the world we are doing business all over the world we cannot keep all the data uh, in a single place our data is uh, decentralized what is it uh, issue uh data belong to a single company it is not at all it is not at all available in a uh, single place data is decentralized it is not centralized the problem is decentralization of the single companies of data i am talking about single company called amazon the second issue they were telling me bhaskar we are going to be using lot of uh, technologies in this us the application we are going to be using is java in india the application that is running a dot and for example when you go to amazon.in okay when you go to amazon.in do you know what kind of a application is this do you know whether it is a java application dot net application python application android application ios application do you know anything about it no that you know doesn't matter to us end of the day we should know how to use this application but this may be a java application dot net application it may be sap application or you have some data in excel you have some data in android mobile phones because we we'll, we are going to be using a lot of things right android ios so lot of applications from there the data can be collected remember right so environment when it's, which the the data is being collected means like this right the company is not at all storing the data in a single location and the company is using different different environments or the platforms in which they are able to you know do the business and the size of the data in us the size is too much very large amount of data we have in us and india and uk as well in these countries the data is in terabytes and petabytes huge amount of data we are going to be getting but dubai we may getting some medium data and africa other countries like singapore we are getting very small amount of data when you have a large amount of data 
infrastructure you need to have more internet bandwidth will be more right more employees have to work so lot of infrastructure lot of other things we need to understand when there is a large amount of data when you have a small amount of data networking speed infrastructure capability hardware software all these things also not very much important when you have small amount of data or low amount of data and what about accuracy of the data can you guarantee that all the data uh, the amazon is going to give it to me is it very very clean data so yes it may be high accuracy of the data or you may be having medium accuracy of the data or you may have the low accuracy of the data what is the meaning of this the data which they are giving may, need not be cleaned data it may be dirty data lot of duplicated mm -hmm. data is available lot of misspelled data is available lot of wrong values are posted lot of blank values are available some columns are left blank some columns are repeated th thrice or twice some data is not properly loaded some invoices are completely some invoice is there some invoice is there duplicate invoices are available because end of the day amazon is not going to be preparing the data customers may give you uh, the customers may give the data they may enter wrong address or misspelling may may you know, misspell misspelled so cities and everything can be entered and we cannot guarantee that all the data by amazon may not be cleaned data if the data is not so cleaned if you take the data and try to create a reports using the wrong data what happens whatever goes in wrong comes out will be wrong very simple right whatever goes in is wrong comes out will be wrong if you think negatively you behave you know negatively so you don't get a positive vibrations right if you think positively you will get a positive vibration but if i take the bad data if i take the duplicated data misspelled data not correct values if i have this kind of a data what happens so if you have a lot of the data that you are taking and you are not cleaning the data what happens end of the day you create a lot of reports the customer will not believe your report customer will say are yaar you have given me the beautiful reports but I, i i don't think so the data is correct in it but you cannot blame them that you only give the bad data okay i have given you bad data but somebody has to clean the data right for example you go to the vegetable shop and you buy some vegetables you are going going to be giving it to the chef now you cannot say you know chef cannot say that no you gave you gave me bad vegetables i did not clean them so when you have a bad dish you know will you be agreeing or you will you will be fighting with the chef definitely it is a chef's responsibility to clean the chicken clean the uh, vegetables and prepare the food then he is going to be serving the food the same way you have to collect the data it is your responsibility to clean the data it is our responsibility to clean the data and uh, we should be able to prepare the reports or we need to create lot of data analytics and data science applications because whatever be the data given by the customer may not be clean data may not be accurate data so all these things are some data challenges data may not be available in single location data may not be available in single environment data may not be available in the same size data may not be clean data like that if you ask me lot of issues with the data lot of issues with the data so what should i do so as a uh, data analyst what we have to do as a ba developer what is that we have to do as a ba developer you have to go get the data from amazon amazon data may be in india may be in dubai may be in us may be in africa so all the data we need to get it some data is available in india india data may be a .net data you have some data may be in us it may be java data it is belong to a amazon company data i'm talking about only one company i have some data in dubai dubai they are maintaining call center you may call so the call will be connected to dubai call center and they have data may be in excel sheet so all this data it is belong to a single company the company is called amazon remember so it is amazon company's data right amazon company's data but what we should do we need to extract the data from here because it is single company data 
and all the data belong to a same sales data, right? All the data you need to extract it. And with the help of a software called ETL software, there is a software called ETL. So what is ETL? ETL means extracting the data, transforming the data, extracting the data, transformation. Transformation means change the data and clean the data. Then last one is load the data. Clear? So what we're going to be doing, we are going to be using a software called SSIS software. So which is ETL software, extracting the data, transforming the data. Transform means change, clean the data. So clean the data and load the data. So where, where is that you're going to be loading the data? All the data you are going to be loading into one bigger computer, one bigger server. So this server is called as a staging server. Staging means temporary. All the data you are going to be keeping here, you're going to be loading all the data into tables and all the data may be coming from Java, .NET, Dubai, Excel, everywhere. All the data will come and this data will be a stage. So this server will be created with the help of a SQL or it will be some RDBMS server. SQL means, you know, right, yesterday I told you, so if you wanted to store large amount of data, normally IT Invest is going to be using SQL, SQL or RDBMS. So what is SQL, which is a go down, or you can say a tank or a bank. As I told you, if we have a lot, uh, you know, big amount of gold, there is a gold bank. When you have a, you know, a lot of blood, there is a blood bank. There is a lot of data, a data bank. Data bank is called database or SQL. So when you wanted to store large amount of data, IT industry is going to be using a software called SQL software or database management software or relational database management software. So all the data initially you're going to be getting and all the data you are going to be loading. Guys, can you hear me? Somebody is saying they're not able to hear. So Sai Kiran, can you hear me others? Others, can you hear me? Say yes or no. So you're able to hear, right? Okay, Sai Kiran, please reconnect. Yeah. So you have to get the data, all the data dump into staging server. What is a staging? Staging means a temporary and all the data you will be able to load them here. And what is that you do? You are going to be cleaning the data, remove dupes data and correct misspelled data. Right? Correct misspelled data or fill in blank values. If you have some blank values that you need to fill in, some data you are going to be merging, some data you are going to be splitting, some data you are going to be converting. You perform a lot of operations. You change the data. So that is what is called a transformation. So I will give you a simple example. You wanted to prepare a food. So for 10, 20 people or 100 people. So what is that you do? You do. You go to the shop number one, you buy some vegetable. You go to shop number one, you think this is one shop. This is one shop, shop number one. You buy some vegetables. You go to shop number two, buy some cheese, curd, chicken. You go to shop number three, buy some vegetables and fruits, lot of things. All the uh, vegetables, fruits, chicken, where will you be dumping temporarily? You are going to be carrying a bag or a box. So this is what is called a temporary carry bag. So staging means you go to the shop number one, buy some vegetable, put into one carry bag. Go to shop number two, buy some chicken, vegetables, fruits and put into this carry bag. Like that, all the items are coming from different, different shops. So temporarily, where are you going to be keeping? All the items are dumped into a temporary bag. So after that, you come home, you open the bag, what do you do? You clean the chicken, you open the tomato, you, you know, you clean it and some leaf, leafy vegetables are there. You put them in the salty water and the potato, you peel them and half a potato is gone, you throw out, right? And some of the leaf, you know, leaves are not good, you throw them out. So you clean that, you clean the vegetable, you clean the chicken, you clean a lot of them and after that what do you do? You, you wanted to marinate them or you wanted to pack them or dry them. You get them, you know, you, you get, you know, tamarind, this one, that one. You soak them. Lot of things you're going to be doing. After that, you take all the, you know, cleaned vegetables. 
you are going to be moving all the cleaned vegetables will finally go to where all the vegetables will be finally will go to the refrigerator that is what right so that is what you do so again you take the data from here again we are going to be performing etl operations so ssis is a ssis is a etl software taking all the data from here and all the data finally it is going to be going to a refrigerator so the refrigerator is going to be called as your data warehouse server it is also one more computer right all the vegetables are cleaned now all of them you are going to be keeping into a data warehouse server okay how the data warehouse will be created it is also a sql or rdbms software has to be installed but remember the hardware size will be bigger right so you should not write uh, where space house it is wrong or data where is not a single data where is not a single single word so data space warehouse is a single and so this is going to be a bigger computer where sql software is going to be installed right so all the data and all the data will come you will be able to create lot of tables and end of the day all the data is going to be coming and sitting here so data warehouse data will be a cleaned data staging server data will be dirty data uncleaned data remember this like that the data is going to be coming here all the vegetables are there in the refrigerator but if you have the data in the data warehouse so the data is cleaned data if you keep the data that is not sufficient what is that we do we are going to be processing the data so if you have all fruits all vegetables are here so nothing can happen you have to do a processing how do you process the uh, food how do you do that you need to have a kitchen right you need to go to the kitchen and in the kitchen you are going to be processing processing means you have the stove kitchen oven lot of things are there where the food will be processed here vegetables are completely stored only if you store the food will not be prepared right so what you do you have to go to the kitchen and you need to start preparing the food and items right so this is what is called i have the data if i have data that is not uh, sufficient you have to use one more application called ssas you are going to be processing the data so for example i have a data called 10 year i have data called 20 but i wanted to know what is the grand sales i wanted to do the processing processing means doing a addition or a plus operation or i wanted to know average i wanted to minimum i wanted to know maximum i wanted to know standard deviation i wanted to do lot of operation because i wanted to understand how the sales is happening last 10 years in india amazon company wanted to know all the 10 years of data will be billions of data amazon company storing in the data warehousing right but when you have a large amount of data somebody has to process that right data right so if you have 10 numbers manually you can do the addition but when you have you know 100 numbers you use the calculator when you have the you know thousand numbers you use the excel sheet but when you have billions of numbers to be calculated simply i wanted to know average or sum mean grand totals i wanted to do all these are called processing data we are going to be storing not to show the data as it is to the customer customer wanted to know what is the sales in india last 10 years show me one figure so somebody has to process the data right who's the application is going to be processing the data the application name is called ssas right somebody has to store the data who's going to be storing the data the application name is called data warehousing somebody has to move the data from one platform to another who's going to be moving the data etl so that is what you got to understand so after you process the data after you have prepared the food so you have to serve the food you need to give the food right because after creating a uh, after creating uh, the food and everything so what normally we do we are going to be we are going to be giving the food in the plate because people can eat so i take the aggregated data 
I wanted to serve the food in the plate so so that people can see this is what is called your serving plate so this is what is called a report clear so report will be prepared with the help of Excel Excel is also number one reporting tool or Power BI or you can use SSRS anything you can use and you can get the data the grand total is 30 billion dollars that you will be able to create a report this report will be given to the end user so end user means amazon ceo wanted to understand what is the sales in india last 10 years you will say total sales in 30 billion dollars in india are you clear guys are you clear so you need to collect the data clean the data, store the data, and all the data has to be processed. Processed data has to be there in the displayed report. Report is nothing but a plate. The customer, the end user, the CEO of the company wanted to understand. These are called business users. So they are going to be running a business like Amazon management. Business managers, right? These people will be just, you know, seeing the last 10 years of data. That is one report. Then they will ask you thousands of reports. Now tell me, what is the Apple iPhone sales in India last five years? I wanted to have one more report. I wanted to see Christmas sales in India and Christmas sales in Dubai, Christmas sales in, uh, you know, Europe. I wanted to understand. I wanted to know Ramzan sales in India last five years Ramzan sales in India uh, versus you know uh, other countries US and UK Africa blah 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 so they would ask you a lot of questions for that you have to get the data clean the data dump the data and all of them and you're going to be creating a lot of reports and you will be able to give the reports to the business people so that business people can understand whether it is you know you know increasing trend or decreasing trend they will be able to understand clear so without that they will not be able to run the business so end of the day somebody has to somebody has to run the business somebody has to see what is happening inside the business remember so this kind of an application is called as a OLTP application and the data warehousing and this application is called as a OLAP application so remember so every company will have two types of applications. Every project will have two types of applications. One is called OLTP application, which is online transaction processing. Very, very important interview question. So OLTP application means online transaction processing. Okay. Now one more application I have to know, you have to know, that is what is called OLAP application online analytical analytical processing application. So OLTP applications means where you are going to be getting the fresh data or read and write data. Most of the time the computers are busy collecting the data and a small size of the data you will be able to have. So this is what is called OLTP application. For example, you go you go amazon.com you wanted to buy some product you are in india so you open your computer this is your laptop or your uh, mobile phone so what you do you open your laptop and you click amazon.in so automatically what happens a link is established you don't know that okay from your laptop or from your mobile phone link is established to the server this is the computer or the server and you buy a product when you buy the product what happens or you register something you would like to buy some baby products okay i wanted to go in for this product and i wanted to click on this now i see this is the nice product i would like to buy and I click on this when i click on automatically what happens so add to cart so after that you are going to be making the payment blah 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 proceed to checkout so it will ask you user id password blah 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 and once you give the payment details and everything will be collected then uh, order will be shipped within one or two days it will get delivered but all this data is going to come here and it is going to be you know 
one row or two rows will come like that many people are buying and buying buying and buying all the data is a fresh data only because today i'm buying that is fresh data like that people are buying and buying buying and buying buying and buying one day after one year after six months what happened this server will be full because every day you are putting the data putting the data putting the data putting the data one day this computer will be full clear so wherever there is a fresh data this is a fresh data because i am purchasing the product it is a fresh data so keep on purchasing purchasing it will become six months yesterday's data will be old data but today's data will be fresh data so like that you are going to be storing your fresh data wherever you are storing the initial data or the fresh data those servers are called as oltp servers it may be dot net server java server excel doesn't matter wherever there is a fresh data that server the computer is called as a fresh data many body many people are buying and buying right if you don't buy amazon company will not get lot of you know profits so people not simply view they are going to be buying so most of the time what is going to be happening it is a read, reading or writing means most of the people are writing most of the people are buying 80 percent of the time the computer is busy uh, with the you know taking the data but sometimes this will be full right after one year or after three years this computer will be full what you do you take the data from here you take the data from here all the data you are going to be dumping into this computer so you need to have a data warehousing computer all the data you are going to be taking from here and you're going to be dumping so after that what will happen this server will become empty because you have taken all the data you are going to be dumping here i'll give you a simple example so that you understand you don't have a water supply to your home so daily morning government of india will supply the water to a tanker or a street taps are available and the water will be supplied through the street taps or morning six o'clock seven o'clock the water tanker comes to your street you could th think like that so what will you, what will you do you and your mother father your maid all people will carry a buckets or bowls whatever you wanted to carry you carry one uh, silver bucket your brother will carry one you know plastic bucket and your sister will carry some more thing and you're going to be catching the water so you switch on the tap the bucket is full and you switch on this this is also full this is also full one these are full what will you do you are going to be maintaining a drum or the tank at your home you come and all this water you are going to be putting into the drum and you will go back you will go back empty this will become empty now you tell me what is that you understand oltp means small in size fresh water is going to be collected what is the size of the bucket 30 liter what is the size of the uh, drum or the tank it will be thousand liter five thousand liter tank you you will have all the water you are going to be putting into the drum drum means a data warehouse or a drum means a tank you can think so this is also plastic this is also plastic this is a bucket bucket is made up of a plastic and a tank is also made up of a plastic but what is the difference between oltp and olap both of them are servers only computers only this is going to be storing the fresh water fresh data and after it is full you are going to be taking the fresh water and dumping it to here so data warehouse where you have large amount of historical data every month people are buying and buying so you buy you buy you buy and lot of data will come and after that month the data will go again these servers are empty so the fresh data will come to oltp servers oltp means fresh buckets the size will be small what is the size size will be some 30 liter 40 liter when the size when the bucket is full with the water you are going to be taking all the water dumping into where into the a drum or the tank that is what is called data warehouse remember but one day one of your friend told arif haskar why are you manually taking the water and dumping it here can't you arrange one motor pump can't you have one motor pump so that you can switch on the motor the pump will you know take the water from the source now i got an idea now i go i can order a motor pump right so you can go to amazon or you can go anywhere motor pump you would like to order you can buy from 
online offline so motor pump you wanted to buy so you can buy this motor pump this motor pump this motor pump these motor pumps are called etl remember what is this called etl so this will be connecting to one source of data or it will be connecting to multiple source and it is going to be dumping all the data into a bigger a drum or the tank clear drum or the tank you are going to be having only thing is that you need to switch on this motor so this may be a texmo company kirloskar company you have a lot of companies you have etl this is one company microsoft etl is called as ssis this is one more company etl so this is one more company one more company called informatica so like that we have a lot of etl softwares are available what is etl it is simply data pump it is going to be data pump this is a texmo this is informatica and this is you know odi oracle data integrator this is oracle company's motor pump like that this is ibm company data stage there is a uh, one more motor pump name is called data stage clear so what is a etl etl means motor pump so it is going to be getting the data from the source and dumping the dumping to the destination that is what you need to understand clear so ssis is a motor pump or a data pump are you clear so i am connecting to this one and this one so getting the data to this now all the data will be going here but one day my mother told me hey bhaskar this water is very dirty we cannot directly dump into our drum so what should i do i will be putting into one more drum so one more drum is called a staging server i will be buying all this bad data it is not very clean data i have a you know, i have a data but not be very clean all the data will be exported to a drum this is what is called a staging staging means temporary so this is also a tank or the drum what i do i remove the you know i put chlorination i boil the water i do the reverse osmosis i do lot of things i clean the water cleaned water has to go with the help of one more motor pump so i will take this water from here and using this motor pump i will be putting into in this uh, drum the final water comes here so this is what you need to understand so always we get the data into oltp oltp means your buckets you will have a fresh data and only small size of a data and may may not be very clean the data so that you need to extract with the motor pump putting into one more drum here you do the cleaning and everything the cleaned water again you use the lot of motor pumps and take the data and store it into a data warehousing so data warehouse will have not only one day data data warehouse will have large amount of data lots of tens of data will be there remember this point so every month you understand every month you are getting 200 gb of data so every month you are getting 200 gb of data into 12 months of data 200 into 12 months data it will be 2.4 terabytes of data into 10 years of data it will be approximately 25 terabytes of data you will be able to have in your data warehousing but only 200 gb 500 gb you may be having here what is the bucket size uh, 30 40 liters but what is the bigger tanker size 10000 liter 20000 liter 30000 liter so data warehouse will be a big in size you are going to be having large amount of historical data so you need to know so oltp will have 30 40 liters of data i am i'm telling you only 200 gb 500 gb of data this is not the fresh data this is completely historical data yesterday's water day before yesterday's water all the water into the tank only and this data is historical data read only data you cannot modify the transaction those are done already can you go to the bank and say sir last 10 years data i wanted to update where is the last 10 years of data of a bank it would have gone to 
own app or data warehousing. Today you go to the bank and you do the cash deposit. It is a fresh data. So fresh data, the bank is going to be storing in the OLTP computer, OLTP server. But after one year, after two years, the banking system will take the data from the OLTP computer. All the data will be moving into the OLAP with the help of an ETL process. So we are going to be using SSIS. Lot of ETL softwares are available and Informatica data stage, right? Uh, Pentaho. So lot of softwares are available. Talent, then ODI Oracle Data Integrator and Ebenezio. Okay, lot of uh, companies are available. So all these companies are completely doing ETL. ETL means data importing exporting softwares. Microsoft is giving you SSIS software. Am I clear? So SSIS software is completely uh, ETL software. You get the data from the here and all the data will be dumped down to the data warehousing and read only data. It is not small size data, which is a large size data. So what is the capacity? The capacity I told you, this will be there in the terabytes of data. Clear? Compulsory an interview question. Have you seen any OLTP uh, servers? Whatever we are using is OLTP. You go and buy some product in dmart.com, they do the billing, right? The billing uh, software is OLTP, why the fresh billing is going on. But what about last year billing uh, you have done? The data would have gone to uh, OLTP to OLAP machine or data warehousing machine, clear? Every company initially will be storing all the data into the uh, OLTP machines. It may be Java software, .NET software, or any other software, you should, we should not worry whether it is a fresh data or old data. Fresh data means OLTP data, old data means o OLAP data, large amount of data, OLAP data, lost 20 years of data, lost 30 years of data will be available, right? Cricket match is going on today. So you will be able to get the live fresh cricket data from which server the first it is going to be going to OLTP. But once the match is over, after one year, the fresh cricket you know match will not be fresh. It will be after one year, it will be historical data. The data will go to a OLAP server or the data warehousing server. So you will be able to see a lot of information coming from that. So last 20 years, Sachin Tendulkar has done these many matches. Where is the data coming from? Coming from OLAP server or the data warehousing server? Current match data. The details are going to be coming from the OLTP server. You will be getting a lo lot of interesting points. So th this player has done totally these many, you know, wickets he has taken. So where is this points coming from? It is not from the, uh, you know, Sony TV. It is not from any other TV. So they are going to be doing or querying a data of OLAP or the data warehousing. Interesting points that that, that are going to be sharing in the Sony TV or BBC News Channel again is that match, right? But the fresh data, fresh wickets, fresh you know, information will be arrived from the OLTP. Hold, you know, old metrics they will be telling. So totally, this player has played these many matches. This, this guy took you know, these many wickets against this country. This player has completed blah, blah, blah. So where is this data coming from? Oh, Sony is a beautifully you know, broadcasting that messages while the match is going on, but all the data, historical data, and accurately, they're able to display. They are getting the data and draw those kind of reports from the OLAP server or the data warehousing server. Fresh match data will be coming from the OLTP. Are you clear? So OLTP, if you don't have OLTP, OLAP will not be there. OLAP means data warehousing will not be there. That is what you got to understand. Clear? So small size data, I will tell you some more points you don't understand normalized data you don't understand this point you will understand later this is a sql concept actually so normalized data and end users are going to be giving this data you go to the bank you do the cash withdraw so that is a fresh transaction it will go to oltp so normalized data end users and less indexes are going to be used so you don't understand these two points but you can understand uh, end users and how many users are there for a business? More end users are there. So end users means I, 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 I have opened a, a bank account. So I'm the end user, but a lot of people are connected to a bank or amazon.com. So many people are going to be connecting, but I am not the uh, business user. So 
when you go to the OLAP, OLAP will be having denormalized data. These are interview you know, points you need to tell in the interview. But these two points you will understand later in the depth. So don't worry about it. So more indexes, end users are not going to be using. So business users, business users means, so as I told you, I cannot uh, give this data to the end user. End user means who's going to be buying the product. So business user means managers, CEOs, all these people are going to be using the data. So remember, OLAP data, data warehousing data always will be for the customers of the business or the you can say business users. So how many uh, managers will be there? Only few thousand people or 500 people. So they're going to be maintaining the company. So business users are not the end users. These are not the customers. I'm the customer uh, for ICIC bank, but my wife is working for ICIC bank. She is a manager. She is a business user. So she wanted to analyze how the company is doing good, how the company is doing bad. But I'm not a, a business user to the ICS bank because I'm end user. I have a bank account. So whatever be the softwares that you're using today, all of them are called OLTP softwares only, right? So people would ask you in the interview, have you seen any OLTP software? Whatever we're using, we're giving fresh data. You go to walmart.com we buy some product. You go to Ikea, you buy some product. You go to Airtel, you recharge. You go to Tata Play, you recharge. You go to, you know, Koyatra.com, you book a train ticket, railway ticket. But once in a year, once in a six month, all the data from the OLTP server will go to OLAP server, that is data warehousing server. Clear? So without OLTP, OLAP will not be there. Who's going to be getting the data to OLAP means? OLAP means data warehousing. Clear? So ETL softwares are, these are nothing but data importing, exporting softwares. That is what you got to understand. Am I clear? Guys, now once you got the data into the data warehouse, you are going to be processing the data. Who's going to be processing the data? SSAS application. Then if you process the data, if you, you know, if you prepare the dish, you need to serve the food, right? Then only the customer can eat it all the reports you need to create within the report report just like a plate so you can create excel power bi ssrs you can use and give the report to the end user you can create thousands of reports and give it to the end user so this is how you are going to be doing so now let me go back to the yesterday's class now as we told you what is that we have right so in the yesterday's class i told you when you have a uh, SQL means you can store the data into these software. SQL softwares are called Oracle, SQL Server, blah, blah, blah. Any software you can use and this can become a data warehousing and everything, right? So, yesterday I spoke about MSBI, right? MSBI means you have SSIS, SSAS and SSRS. What SSIS is going to be doing? SSIS is going to be getting the data. It is going to be getting the data from the any source. Now, SSAS, this is what is called SSAS. So SSIS, you know, and I told you SSAS is going to be processing the data and SSRS is you know, giving, giving you the reports. Now, we are not going to be using SSRS. Now, in this place, we are going to be using Power BI. So, you should study SSIS. You should study SSAS, you should study Power BI, and you should study compulsorily SQL Server. So this is what you need to study. Clear? So SSIS, as I know, as I told you, it will be for 25 classes. It will be happening not now, in the month of May, as I told you, right? So now what is going to be happening? Power BI we are going to be starting. Power BI will be 45 days. Okay, from starting from tomorrow, not to from tomorrow to from Monday, we are going to be, you know, only seeing how to, you know, make the reports and everything, 45 days. And SSAS, it will be for the five days. This will be learning in the month of May. Now, this is what. So, along with that, you should learn SQL Server as well. SQL also, you need to start from today, not from today, from Monday. So, daily what video, one video you need to watch. So, you need to do SSIS, SQL Server, SSAS, Power BI and data warehousing also you will be learning in the month of May, five days. 
clear so without msba without msba you cannot extract the data you cannot get the data you will not be able to do anything you will not be able to do anything so remember so this is what you are going to be learning sql server power bi uh, march and april we are going to be learning and data warehousing and ssis will be learning in may cv preparation and everything will be completing in the month of may you are going to be making the payments now for sql server and power bi only okay guys did you understand so i'll give you a simple example and i stop it you go to the hospital you, you say that you are not well to the doctor the so doctor will say hey baskar you go to the laboratory do this the medical you know test to be done so i'll go to hospital laboratory and there is a lab technician is there lab technician is going to be taking the blood taking the temperature and all the things are going to be taking and is going to be processing the blood and creating the report and giving the report to me so the same way however is going to be you know creating a report and giving the report will be given to whom customer will get the report but who is going to be analyzing the report is it, is it a lab technician or is it a doctor who needs the report is it a lab technician or the doctor doctor needs the report doctor will analyze the report doctor is a business user so what is your role your role will be lab technician role get the data clean the data store the data create a report give the report to the business user lab technician is going to be collecting the blood storing the blood processing the blood create the report give it to the doctor so the way the lab technician is going to be working in the company the same way we are also going to be working so we are called bi developer or we are called data engineering team data engineering means get the data clean the data store the data process the data all this is what is called data engineering clear if you want to prepare a food or chicken biryani what is that you do you go to the shop get the chicken go to the shop get the rice vegetables clean them put them soak them have the spices you know prepare the spices and after that the chef is going to be coming prepare the biryani so what is very very difficult task here so preparing chicken cooking is not very you know difficulty what is difficulty going to the shop and buying all the vegetables cleaning them procuring them these will take lot of time and get getting the spices drying them then frying them make the powders and soaking them so this will take lot of time so data engineering means data preparation so cooking is very very simple when everything is ready onions are ready chicken is ready cleaned soaked everything is ready the chef will come he can prepare the food in 2 minutes right so preparing food means food preparation plus cooking so data engineering is very very difficult activity data engineering means get the data clean the data put the data and afterwards you are going to be taking and put everything into the stove you prepare lot of dishes right so that will be very very easy and what is very very difficult difficult part is this getting the data cleaning the data putting the data storing the data this is what is called data preparation okay so data preparation will take a lot of time so 70 to 60% of the time you are going to be doing the data preparation only remaining things you will be able to have remaining reporting and uh, this one this will not take much time so ssas will not take much time you know preparing a report also will not take much time but what will take a lot of time means data preparation data preparation is called as a data engineering remember that data engineering so if you wanted to prepare a food item so what is difficult not the cooking or not the cutting the problem is getting the vegetables cleaning them cut them soak them and you do lot of things and make everything is ready then ready to cook vegetables are ready then you take a oven and cook it cooking will take only 1 hour but you know prior to that what you are doing that will take one day or two day or three days right so data preparation will take a lot of time data engineering will take a lot of time report preparation will take only very very less time that is what you got to understand we are going to be creating a reports and with the help of all these technologies clear so shaik is asking clean the data analyze the data and process the data yes clean the data 
not analyze the data clean the data collect the data collect the data then clean the data first collect the data then clean the data then store the data then process the data then here after processing data you analyze it with the help of a report so collect the data clean the data store the cleaned data cleaned means ready to use data so that will be there in the data warehousing then process the data the process data has to be displayed so that people can understand clear so that is what is called as a business intelligence or data analytics so data analytics means many people will say data analytics means you will have two things one is called one is called data engineering data engineering means data preparation so after that you create a reports okay so data engineering means what technologies you have to know you have to know sql you have to know data warehousing you need to know etl ssis right you need to know data modeling dax queries everything you're going to be learning for the reports purpose you have to learn only power bi or even excel is also number one reporting tool or you can learn ssrs or tableau is also one reporting tool but if you learn only power bi and that is not sufficient are you clear so 60 to 70 percent of the time we are going to be busy with the data engineering remaining 30 40 percent of the time we are going to be creating a reports if you learn only power bi that means you're ready only 40 percent for the it industry if you learn all these things you will be able to perform this data analytics it is also called as a business intelligence clear so this is what you need to understand so this is the end of the class guys are you clear so what is that we're going to be doing and this is a final demo tomorrow day after tomorrow we don't have any class and from monday this meeting id will change and please make the payment by today or tomorrow payment link will be given if you fill the form this form i have given in the chart window if you fill the form you will be able to get the discounts if you don't fill the form you are not you know you cannot ask any discounts make sure that you fill the form now and you should be able to you know get the discounts and uh, you can work so ashish is saying how is placement in job support sir because i have career gap so that's you should not be worried whether you have career back 10 years of passed out doesn't matter and only thing is that we are going to be showing three to four years of experience remaining experience you can showcase in the non it industry or you can tell them that you are doing a business or you're applying for the government job something like that we can showcase and even though you don't have a pf account doesn't matter so only thing is that you need to have the skills you need not have a pf account if you have a pf account that is good if that is not there it is so good no problem at all clear so what is that you need only the skills nothing is required no prior knowledge is required even though gaps are there don't worry i will be able to help you how to prepare the cv how to appear for the examinations and everything interviews and 80 percent of the interview questions are going to come so this is how we are going to be uh, you know telling and uh, continuing further so nachinda did you guys this like this class guys So this is the final demo. Don't worry about all the gaps and everything. Anyhow, I'm going to be talking about those things. You will be there with me for three months. So I'll be covering each and every point. So we'll prepare good CVs, sample CVs and everything I'll show you. And one project is included in this for free. So you can keep the project in your you know, CV and explain also. So nothing to worry about anything. So only thing is that practice, practice, practice and now you will be able to make the payments for only two courses uh, sql sovereign power ba now and uh, in the month of may you will be able to make the payment for ssis right ssis is a yeah, no coding software power ba is no coding software sql server minimum coding will be there so that you need to put little more efforts okay so without sql server never never jump into it industry to learn power ba what is a prerequisite nothing but why are we learning sql server to crack the interview so to learn power bi you need not know anything if you know 2 plus 2 equals to 4 you can learn power bi but why are we learning sql server along with power bi because you have to uh, attend the interviews and 70 percent of the interview questions are asked in the 
SQL Server only. Remember that point. Chalo, guys. I'll take the questions. <clears throat> so, also in, by, by 11 o'clock or 12 o'clock, you get the payment link. And uh, thank you, guys. So, people who are new today, people who are new today, they will be able to, you know, to send me the mail saying that, sir, I need the previous videos. So, just send me a mail to bhaskarjogi.com. If you wanted to talk to me directly, and you can also mail me your uh, phone numbers. Sharanya Pratap, I did not get your email ID, but I have called uh, yesterday by taking your numbers, but I think you did not pick up. Okay, I have given the call. So you make sure that you write to this mail IDs. Chalo guys, any other questions you have?